The police body cam reveals this officer sitting in his patrol van. The officer sensed a need to get out of the van and moved for it. He reached out his hand like always, opening the door. He has done this a million times, and it was unlikely anything could go wrong. Life was about to show him otherwise. As he widened the door, a speeding car from God knows where drove past the patrol van, reaping off the open door completely. Although the officer was unhurt, he was visibly shaken. Just a second more and he could have lost his life. The police in Arizona have a big task in hand. A red car is currently submerged in a flood as water torrents passed it rapidly, swallowing the car bit by bit. Can you crawl? No! Ma'am, it's gonna go under! The rescue team moved swiftly. They wade in the water towards the car, breaking open its window glass. Inside the car is a scared woman who is trapped in the flood torrents. The police clearly instructed and encouraged the woman to reach out to them. Then this happened. Come on! Come on! Ah! We got you! I'm slipping! I'm slipping! Ah! Ah! We got you, brother! We got you! Okay! Is somebody else in the vehicle? No. Okay. Yeah, my God. After a bit of hanky-panky, the woman reaches out just in time to be rescued from the almost submerged car. The officers carry the woman away to safety. The police were alerted about a suspect who was shoplifting at a Walmart store. They arrived in time and got the description of the suspect. So we're running around the store. He keeps running between out there to the back bathrooms, kitchen knives, and then back to sporting goods. How old is this guy? By the guess, probably mid-30. Immediately, the police swung into action to sniff out the suspect. After moving about a bit, they find the suspect strolling around the store. On seeing the police, the suspect takes to his heels. The police follow him and try to catch up with him. Stop. Stop. He's running. It looked like the suspect would get away until this happened. Stop! Ah! Stop! No! The suspect ran towards the exit of the store, only to run into another police officer who was strategically waiting. A scuffle ensues, and after a bit of Armageddon, the suspect is overpowered and arrested. Stop! Marshall, can we get EMS for the police received a report of a naked black man trying to break into his neighbor's house. Upon arriving at the supposed scene, things look different. There is no naked man, and no one is trying to break into any house. Stop interrupting him! <laughs> so this is what I did, sir. Because okay. I got a witness. We both went up yeah. there. We knocked on the- They questioned the suspect and other persons, and discover the case caller is lying. <laughs> what happened? So listen, they, they, all they, they're arguing. Whoever the crackhead is. They try to speak with the white woman, who remains adamant and insults the police. Come here. Turn, put your hands behind your back. Come here. I'm not going to jail. With no other option left, the police had to do something. Stop! They got into a scuffle with her. After some time, they can arrest and take her in for offering a false report. What ought to be a regular stop and search almost turned into a very violent scene. A cop stops this black suspect in a white car and notices that the car reeks of weed. The suspect confesses to having a bag of weed. Alright, I got a bag of weed. You got a bag of weed on you? Yeah. Okay. Where's it at? In your pocket? The officer then tells him to come out of the car. The suspect comes out of the car with his back facing the police. But in a twist of events, the suspect pulls out a gun on the unsuspecting but vigilant officer. In that moment of struggle, something amazing happens. Drop the gun! I'm not... Don't Drop the gun! Don't shoot. Drop it! Don't Drop shoot. it! Don't shoot. I was just trying to get away. That's Signal just... zero, suspect. At gunpoint, stop! The officer responds quickly, knocking the gun off the suspect. The officer later arrests the suspect and takes him in. The police were chasing this fleeing suspect. However, the suspect seems so fast he gets way ahead of the cops. Boarding. And he's on the uh, shoulder. Outside the, the suspect gets on foot and goes into a nearby bush. Knowing it might be impossible to catch the culprit alone, the police introduce a patrol dog into the mix. Endo here! Endo here! Walk it, buddy! Walk 
fucking end now. Shut this guy! The dog darts off into the bush after the suspect. Even the cop has to keep up with the quick dog now. The cop gets over a barbed wire fence and takes a turn to meet a pleasant sight. Fucking buddy, good boy! You know? Get your hands off of him! Get your hands up! Good boy, you know! Good boy! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! The dog already had the culprit with his teeth deep in the culprit's trousers. The officer later gets the dog of the suspect while another cop arrests him. The police, aiming to apprehend a sex offender on the run, receive intel locating him near an interstate bridge. Swiftly, the officer and accompanying force members drive to the site and dash towards the bridge. When they get to the bridge, they meet an almost gory sight. The suspect has gotten suicidal and is trying to leap off the bridge. The police officer grabs the suspect quickly and lifts him back onto the road with the help of all the other personnel present. Yeah, grab his leg. He was reaching to... The police eventually overpowered the suspect and put him in cuffs to prevent any other complications. The police received some intel about a stolen package and the whereabouts of the suspects. This lone police officer didn't waste any time in getting to the location. When he got there, he found the suspect sitting quietly inside a car. He's southbound on Peninsula from University. I'm going 18 miles an hour. Looks like it's a rolling DV. Sorry, copy. The standard procedure would have been to wait for backup. However, this cop chose a different approach. Park it. Show me your hand. He walked up to the car with his gun up ordered the suspect to come out and immediately arrested him without wasting any time. The suspect tried to convince the police he was innocent, but the officer was having none of it. He had caught the culprit and that's all that matters. The officer is around Backman Lake at night and is just at the shore. At first, it's not clear what the officer is waiting for, but as the video progresses, it becomes clearer. A car has crashed into the lake, and some officers are in the water trying to rescue the victim, who is a woman. The officers in the lake swim towards the deck, holding the woman. The officers on the deck reach out and pull the woman onto the deck. One of the officers administers some first head measures to resuscitate the woman. The woman responds and regains consciousness. There you there go. go, there we there go. go. There you go. Stay right there. What's your name? The police have stopped this truck driver and are questioning him. Not satisfied with his response, the cops proceed to search his truck. There's people in the cab? Yes, sir. They get into the truck and gradually peel off a layer of material that restricts the driver's seat from the rest of the truck. What they find is utterly shocking. Okay. Got you. Okay. You got this? Do me a fit, yeah. The backside of the truck is dark but the light that breaks in through the torn demarcation is enough to show the 18 persons stuffed up behind the truck. After questioning them, the police discover they are illegal immigrants. Consequently, the driver is apprehended for trying to smuggle them into the country. This cop arrived at the accident scene and immediately tried to help clear it. As he speaks to the people at the scene, he tries to gather information about what happened. However, he realizes that they are not directly involved in the accident. They are just good Samaritans trying to help. Fire rescue is she talking? Yeah, she, she's right, well, okay. don't, don't try to, don't try to out, While the police were still working with the volunteers on the scene, something unexpected happened. Another truck accident occurred nearby, spiraling into the existing scene and exacerbating the catastrophe by colliding with a car. The impact launches the cop and volunteers into the air before they land on the ground, thankfully escaping serious injuries. On January 2nd, 2022, the Cleveland Police Department was at a particular house for a drug raid. However, things were about to get more bizarre for the policemen. Yeah, well, there's 
Most of the dogs are The group went about the house looking for drugs until they stumbled upon something else. One of the policemen had found it and was leading the others towards the backyard. Yeah, the owner of the house and the dogs. As they got closer to the backyard, they could hear the sounds of barking dogs. The policeman entered the backyard and saw a heart-wrenching sight. Twelve dogs were found in cages, revealing that the owners were running a dog fighting ring. What started as a drug raid was now turning into a dog rescue mission. The officers called in animal control, who worked tirelessly to rescue the dogs one by one. It's an emergency as this police officer runs towards an attraction with a fire extinguisher. As he gets closer, it becomes clear what he is running towards. An accident has just happened, and one of the cars is on fire. From the discussion, it becomes clear that the victim is inside the car. The officers try to put out the fire and break the car's glass windows. They try to pry the door of the car open, but it isn't easy. The officers continue their efforts to get the victim out as they devise different methods and approaches. We're gonna get you out of there, okay? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ben, I'm gonna try to get the other side. Finally, after minutes of trying, the police successfully pry the door open and get the victim out safely. No! You're the only one! Keep going, keep going! The police stopped a semi-truck for a search. As they interrogated the driver, it became clear that something fishy was going on. The police asked the driver to get down as they searched the truck thoroughly. Are you empty right now? No, no, it was you. You're full right now? No, it was you. The officers looked around the truck, but found nothing suspicious. All was looking good until the officers checked the tarp and found a jackpot of evidence. From underneath the tarp, the police body cam showed people crawling out of the tarp. It took some time for all the persons in the tarp to crawl out, the number totaling 18. The officers arrested the driver for human trafficking while they sent the illegal immigrants to border patrol. This police body cam reveals the most gruesome scene. An escaped psychiatric patient stole a car with a 16-month-old baby inside. The police heard of the situation and got involved quickly. Here's what followed. They found the car after some time, but the suspect had escaped, leaving the victim in the car. The police found the child crying, but unharmed. The police rescued the baby and proceeded to find the culprit. Later that day, the suspect was found still in a hospital gown. Due to the mental condition of the suspect, it was unlikely he had captured the baby intentionally. A house was on fire and the fire department had been informed. However, Two policemen took on a dangerous rescue mission. They ran to the house and met the house owner and a neighbor. The house owner pointed them to a broken window, indicating there was someone inside the house. Hello? 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 In the heat of the moment, something touching happens. Get the dog out of the way. No, get the dog. Get the dog. Oh, Can I get the dog? Let me have to grab this dog. Come on. The two cops climbed over the broken window, and sure enough, they found a woman unconscious in the room. They dragged her through the window and rescued her from the fire. Her dog was also rescued. The woman was taken to the hospital immediately. The police stopped this truck driver in an interstate search. The police found out this driver was trying to smuggle illegal immigrants into the country. The driver was immediately arrested, and the police searched his truck thoroughly. One of the police officers climbed onto the truck and discovered a covering at the top. The officer proceeded to remove it. There's about 40 or 50. There's about 30. No se van a correr, ¿me entienden? This revealed over 30 persons at the back of that truck. Many of the illegal immigrants were sent back to border police while the truck driver was taken in for an 80 count human smuggling count. The police were alerted about a burglary suspect who was on the run. They swiftly set up a stop stick which successfully caught the suspect, Tyre.
the suspect decided to continue the run on foot while the police followed his trail into a nearby forest. After hours on the run, the inevitable happened. He's not stopping, passing Landover, crossing over Providence. Ran the red, motor 93 Central, I still have eyes on. The police came face to face with the burglar. At this point, the burglar was thoroughly finished and had no other option but to give in to the police. The officer ordered him to lie flat on the floor. The suspect obeyed and the cop took him in for his crimes. The police arrived at the scene where a young suspect was causing serious trouble. It appeared the suspect was dealing with psychiatric issues. When questioned about the situation, his mother confirmed that he was indeed causing a nuisance. He just keep coming over there knocking on I mean, I mean her son. My, my three daughters he, he, just moved. He, he, they can't have no son. disturbances. A police get... When questioned, the boy began rambling endlessly. Eventually, he made a concerning statement about harming someone, which alarmed the police. Somebody, if I get me a whole lot of money, I ain't even gonna lie. Uh -huh. If somebody take it, I'm just gonna f somebody that's innocent. So, all right, put your hands behind your back. I'm gonna take you to Lakeside, okay? Because uh -huh. I think... They decided to take the young man to a facility for people who had mental issues. Although his mom wasn't too pleased, it was decided. The police took him along. That's out of your hands right now. Do you have any weapons on you? This officer was trying to get on the scene of a shooting. The suspect had shot a police officer, and this officer was trying to get there to de-escalate the situation. When the officer gets to the block, he gets out of his car, and almost immediately, he can see the suspect. What happens next is surprising. Do it now! Nobody wants to kill you! Get down on the ground! Stop where you're at! Get down on- The officer calls out to the suspect, asking him to be calm so no one will hurt him. He further asks the suspect to move forward and get on the ground. The suspect obeys the officer and gets down. This leads to a simple, uncomplicated arrest. This is a case of homicide and a case the police have apprehended the suspect involved. They ask him a few questions and place him in handcuffs. Uh, <coughs> so Officer Wiggins is going to take you to car seat, okay? Um, and then, uh, like I said, some people will come talk to you here shortly, okay? Just before he is placed in a van, the police decide to check him for a weapon. Using a detector, they hear a beep indicating the presence of a weapon. The officers proceed to search for the weapon itself. Stand up! While checking, the officer finds something quite disturbing. A murder weapon slipped into the shoes of the suspect. It is a bloodied knife, a clear proof that the culprit committed the crime. He is placed behind the van and taken into custody. The police received a report of a suspect vandalizing property in town. When the police arrive there, it's an amazing sight. They find the suspect looking sick and angry. The police ask him relevant questions, but his answers show that he is hung on something. No, just leave it there. It's not yours. Where's your pants at? Surprisingly, he turns himself over to the police. He is cuffed and placed in a van. Your back for me. Police described Mebo as paranoid and hallucinating and suspected he was under the influence of meth. When one of the officers opens the van door to speak with him, something unexpected happens. David, I'm going to open this door. Okay. 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 Stay. You got to stay in there. Okay. Don't. Don't do that. Okay. You got to stay in there, David. The suspect is biting the seatbelt. Like an act of reflex, he also bites the officer, increasing his charges. The suspect is later checked and taken to the station. A New York cop runs upon the snow around a frozen lake. He seems to be in a hurry as he carefully gets off the snow onto the frozen lake. Lake. Officer John Smith immediately stripped off his gear when he got to the scene and ventured out onto the frozen ice. At first, it's not clear exactly what he is looking for, but as he moves on, it becomes gradually apparent. He gets to a hole in the frozen lake and bends. <laughs> What's the dog's name? Kona. Dog's name is. After some time, he pulls out something alive. Soon he stands up, and we can see exactly what it is. Kona! Oh my god. 
A 75 pound Labrador had been stuck under the water. You can see the lab throttling along with the officer. The dog is happy to be rescued by this hero cop. Just the week before, this hero cop had saved a woman from a burning house. He went through the window of the house and bravely entered the burning building to rescue the woman. This cop is truly a hero. He was still inside. Where's she? I want to be where she Get out. Get out. Right here. She's in your living room. The police are trying to arrest a man who had stolen a car. Cody, I'm out in power. One of the cops finds him hiding in a stolen car in a backyard. The cop immediately orders him to put his hands up and come out of the car. At first, he puts up his hands and then takes it down again. Then, in a flash instance, he runs through the driver's side and takes off. Hey, somebody come over here now. Keep your hand there. The cop chases after him. It doesn't take too long before the culprit stumbles and falls. The officer tells him to stay still and put his hands behind his back. The culprit cooperates this time and is arrested by the police. I'm scared to death right now. I don't know what I don't I'm care. Where are they? Don't say, hey, get out of the car and secure him now. Get over. I'm the, I'm the secure. When the stolen car is searched, the police find some incriminating items. He's got it. I told you he stuffed the gun. He had a gun in his hand. I, I didn't get on that other side. Stolen narcotics and a stolen gun. It's evident that this is a clear case of theft and this individual is going behind bars. This next video is a nobody is above the law kind of video. The county sheriff is being taken in for assaulting a woman. Frickin' waiting for the address, waiting for the address. I'm flying down broad. I'm like... The sheriff sits on the stairs of the house, patiently waiting for the inevitable to happen. He is used to being on the right side of the law, but today he is the culprit. He quietly explains that he is guilty. Saying that she's never going to stop, she quit, she started up again, she waits until I leave the house, I come home, and then it's total rock. So we're like, what, what happened with you guys though? Like, was really when it's time to be arrested, we see the law in effect. Can I make a phone call? He stands up and puts his hand behind his back. He is cuffed and led away into a patrol van by a fellow cop. The calm and composed manner in which the whole scenario unfolds demonstrates that no one is above the law, not even the police themselves. The police got wind of a 29-year-old suspect who was traveling to another county to have sex with a 12-year-old girl. The girl had met the suspect on Winks, where he claimed to be a 17-year-old teenager. Sheriff's office, stop right now! Put it in park! Put the car in park! However, his true identity was uncovered. A detective took charge of the case and lured the culprit into town. There, the police waited for him. He was arrested immediately when he got into town. The culprit is charged with lewd or lascivious battery on a child using a computer to solicit and traveling to meet a child. He was sent to jail with a bond of 350,000 USD. This suspect was caught driving a motor-powered bike by the police. At the substation, it's a whiskey mic on a motorized bicycle. Let me see your ID. When the police duly interviewed him, he discovered the culprit's license had been suspended. The officer took his time to run checks on the suspect and afterward offered him a citation to sign. The suspect adamantly refused to sign the citation. Their refusal, coupled with vulgar language, became the last straw. Then, something happened. Are you going to sign the ticket? No. Okay, just turn around and put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. Hey, bro. Hey, hey, hey. The officers attempted to arrest him, but he resisted. This led to a scuffle that ended with the suspect in handcuffs. A policeman stopped a young lady from boarding a plane because she was too intoxicated. Instead of cooperating, the suspect became vulgar and obstinate. She rode her motor-powered suitcase around the terminal, causing a disturbance. Okay, Chelsea, just just go to the terminal. Okay. I'll I'll help see her out. You guys are good. Oh man. The officer tried repeatedly in a polite manner to get her to cooperate, but when it became clear she wasn't going to have it any other way, the inevitable happened. Chelsea, you are under arrest. Put your hands behind your back now. Chelsea, you are under arrest. Put your hands behind your back now. Why are you going to 
Do not resist. Do not resist. The officer had to arrest her. Even after being arrested, she continued her nonchalant behavior, spitting and cursing. But the cops were able to get her out of the airport. Chelsea, stop this. Chelsea, stand up. Chelsea, stand up. All right, reverse, reverse. This police officer was following an SUV that was driving erratically and swerving into all lanes. The officer followed the SUV, but the driver refused to stop. After some time, the driver almost crashed into the woods, but was fortunate enough to steer the vehicle back to the road. This time, the driver knew to stop. When the cops got to him, they were amazed at what they discovered. The driver was in a state of shock and couldn't wind the window glass down. The police had to break the window glass to access the car. Then, they brought out the culprit and resuscitated him before taking him in for driving under the influence of drugs. Mm. It's right there. It's on the 40, the police were called by a library to get an unwanted homeless person out. The culprit must have overstayed his welcome and they wanted him out. The police got to the library and politely asked the culprit to leave. The culprit was rude and insulted the police time and time again. Come back here. We're telling oh, so y'all kicking me out of Joliet then, huh? Well, that was... That's the case? They didn't want you at the library. Do you want me out of Joliet? Could you they answer that for me? They didn't you want you at the library. Well, did you ask me? Could you answer that? Although he was leaving, it was clear from his attitude and speech he would be back again. Left with no choice, the police did what they had to. Roll. You, know, you arrested me? Roll. Yep. Yep. Run around. They arrested him. He tried to resist, but the police overpowered him and moved him to their truck. He is surely going to jail. The police were carrying out a brush operation in the area. This was after a high-speed chase involving some illegal immigrants. A driver had tried to smuggle them in, but the police became aware of it. They moved from house to house in the area and successfully found all of the immigrants that were hiding there. They found some under garden bushes and others underneath houses. To crown up the whole raid, they hit a jackpot. <laughs> the officers found the drivers and passengers who had been directly involved in smuggling these illegal immigrants into the country and arrested them. This was justice well served. The police were alerted to a disturbance caused by a male suspect. Upon arriving at the location, they found an individual matching the description provided. <laughs> Got the, got the golf club. Let the down. This suspect was holding a golf club as a weapon. The police asked him to put it down immediately, which he did. Put it down now. Put the golf club down. Put the golf club down now. Step over here. What's your problem? After a few moments of trying to converse with him, it became clear the conversation was heading nowhere. The cops had to do the needful. Got a bite from We're just gonna figure out because they said you tried to break the glass. What? Just hang tight. Just put. They handcuffed him and sat him down to question him. But the suspect continued speaking incoherently. All attempts to calm the suspect proved abortive. So, the police had no other choice but to take him into custody. A young man called 911 to report an incident. He and his friend were inspecting a well when his friend fell in and became stuck. Um, we're on my neighbor's property and uh, I was showing my friend the well that he has and we decided to climb down it and now my friend is stuck at the bottom. The police responded quickly and dispatched a rescue team to the location. When they arrived, they looked into the well and noticed how deep it was. It was clear it wouldn't be an easy job. Um, I wanna say that I did it. Oh, okay. The cops assured the victim they would get him out safely if he cooperated with them. The cops swung into action. What do you need? I'm good, let's go. You're at the top, go! All right, haul. Right, Keep hauling, nice and slow. Yeah, just bring right. them back to this side of the top, okay? Haul. Keep hauling. They began the process and gradually started lifting the guy out of the well. Although it was a complicated task, the carefulness and diligence of the cops played a great role. Eventually, 
they were able to get the guy out of the well. A cop saw a man around a white SUV and tried to engage him, and he claimed he was locked outside his car. While the police attempted to open the car, the initial officer ran a background check on him and discovered he had a warrant. Upon hearing this, the man fled, leading to a chase. The suspect ran to the road and stole a blue car. The police chased after him and saw him getting out of the car and crossing to the other side of the interstate. Then something unexpected happened. Stay down on the ground! Down on the ground! The suspect tried to hitchhike on a speeding SUV but failed to time his jump. He fell to the ground and lost composure. The cops came to him and arrested him. This woman was carjacked by an unknown suspect. The police tried to help recover her car and stolen property. He pointed a gun at you, then you got out of the car and you, 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 he just got in and took off. Okay, your purse and everything's in the car. How about your cell phone? Okay, you, but you have a... They asked her for her iPhone ID. Since the phone was in the car, it could be used to track the location of the vehicle. The woman provided her ID and the police immediately sprang into action. What kind of phone you have? iPhone. Do you, do you have iPhone 6? Do you have your find my phone app? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, huh. So, uh, so I mean, three, I think, well, some detectives were 5-6. I'm tracking the phone right now, though. They used the iPhone tracker to locate the iPhone, which led to the apprehension of the suspect. What followed is exactly what you mean when you say, busted. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! It's coming out the back. Please, show me your hands! Put your hands up! They followed the tracker to the location police and raided it. After a few minutes, they were able to identify and arrest the culprit. They were also able to recover the victim's car and all of her other properties. There's a gun right there. And then you're you got scared, so you always run for A suspect had stolen a car and gotten away with it, but unknown to him, things were about to turn out differently. The owners of the car were able to use GPS to track down the car. Put your hands up! Hands up! Stop! Get on the ground! Put your hands behind your back! How about you stealing a car, man? They got in contact with the police, who were able to shut down the car completely. The police immediately moved towards the location of the car. The sight they meant was absolutely hilarious. One on the on-ramp, I'm gonna have it here. Uh, on-ramp, on the I-90. Put your hands up! They got there and met the culprit, wondering what had gone wrong with the car. The police arrested him and put him behind their truck before proceeding to check through the stolen car. This unlucky thief had stolen the wrong car. So, Ryan, Stop! What else is new? Prior to realizing the vehicle was stolen, employees reported strange radio- Two officers were trying to check on the driver of this car. From the look of things, the driver was driving under the influence of alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. They asked the driver to step down from the car. He obliged without any tussle. However, when he was asked to take a sobriety test, he refused. The officers asked for his name to get the identity of this culprit, but it's unlikely they were in for the shock that followed. The suspect was a sheriff deputy at St. Cloud. This turned the whole case into something else. The defaulting officer was arrested that night and was subsequently reassigned to administrative roles while the investigation was carried out. The police approached this family at a boat dock and pleaded to use their boat to catch a criminal operating on the water. The family agreed and handed their boat over to the police. He's on the he's on the jet ski in the river. Is there any way you can take a couple of us down there to him? Sure. sure. Okay. You want to you take the boat? Take it, come back. The police moved the boat to a point 
and we're in for the moment of their life. They were face to face with their suspect, who was moving on a jet ski that he had stolen. The police asked him to surrender and move towards the boat. The suspect obliged and was arrested by the police. A few minutes later, you can see the police exchanging pleasantries with the boat owners before taking the criminal away. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm Sergeant Turner, by the way. Nice I gave him a card. You. Okay. I'm Sergeant Turner. Thank uh, you very much. Man. Absolutely. Y'all need great. Here you go. I'll leave you. The police were trying to arrest a suspect for attempted rape. The suspect was seen trying to throw the victim over his shoulder when the police intercepted him. Seeing things could get berserk for him, the suspect took off and tried to outsmart the police by hiding in the bush. However, the police were able to match him up. They followed the suspect and found him where he was hiding. The police ordered the suspect to place his hands on his head. The suspect was arrested and taken into custody. He was eventually tried by the law and sentenced to prison for his crime. The police received a call about a suspect who had swerved into the wrong lane and almost caused a head-on collision. The police followed the suspect and tried to get him to stop. Neo Sierra Yankee 0297, RSY 0297. It's a black Mercedes, signal 12. All their efforts proved abortive until the suspect decided to stop around an emergency room. Stop the vehicle, pull over, do it now. When the police tried to question the suspect, they discovered something amazing. Through that red light. Are you having any kind of a medical emergency? No. no, no. What's that? No. Okay. His answers were mostly incoherent. After a while, it became clear the suspect had been driving under the influence of alcohol. The police arrested him before taking him for a test. The suspect was taken to the Sheriff Perry Hall inmate detention facility on a 26,000 USD bond. Yeah, just, yep, absolutely. Took him showing his ass. I'm an, I'm an. Mike, you're under arrest for driving under the influence. The police stopped this fellow for speeding. What was meant to be a routine check was about to escalate into something else. As the officer checked the car, he noticed some anomalies. He quickly ran a check and asked the driver to come out. Where'd you get this vehicle? Oh, the rental, rental car. Where'd you get that at? The rental car, no, The driver got down casually, and the policeman placed him in handcuffs before searching the car more thoroughly. The officer discovered something really criminal. Numerous years in a row. Any particular reason why a concerned citizen would... This suspect used multiple license plates for one car. He checked inside the car and found two laptops and four phones. When questioned, the suspect said he just bought them. However, the cop knew otherwise. He knew this suspect had a history of serial burglary and was most likely on another spree. This, however, was the end. All the passwords in it. That's what? How many phones does it take to operate a crane? The police were trying to investigate with a warrant when a popular Colorado politician obstructed the process. They were trying to seize an iPad, but the former Mesa County clerk refused. You're not going to put a hand on anybody here. No, you do not. After failed attempts to get her to back off quietly, the police did something unexpected. Let go of me. You let go of me. Let go of me. Let go of me. This former clerk was taken into custody by the police. When she was taken outside, she was advised to cooperate with the police. She insisted the iPad wasn't hers and that she wasn't obstructing the process. Although she was later released, a warrant was issued for her arrest. The case is still in court as all parties await a fair hearing. An Uber driver phoned the police because they noticed something suspicious about their passenger. Uber driver, I don't know. I think something's going on with the passenger in my car. I don't know if he's... 
I don't know. I think he got a gun on him. I, I don't know if he, I don't know if another guy was following us. I just got a bad feeling about this. The driver later linked up with the police, who tried to ask the passenger some simple questions. While the police were speaking with the driver, something unexpected happened. There we got one running eastbound. There he is. The suspect fled, prompting the police to initially pursue on foot. However, they later decided to pursue the suspect by car. When they were close enough, one of the cops got down and gave chase again. This time, the suspect seemed tired as the cop was found crouching beside a wall. The officer arrested him and took him in. This woman called the police to report that the suspect with whom she had a one-night stand, had stolen her purse. The police immediately got into action and found the culprit. When asked by the cops to put his hands behind his back, the suspect resisted repeatedly. The cop had to resort to other methods. Would I have to get my hands behind my back? Hands behind your back. Taser deployment. Give me a unit to the alley for He tased the suspect. Even after repeated tasings, the cop was still unable to get the suspect to cooperate. The victim could be heard exchanging words with the culprit. Eventually, another cop came to help handcuff the suspect and get him into the police van. The police stopped a car for a routine check and discovered there were some illegal immigrants in the car. Hello. Hello. Hi, Texas Highway Patrol. The baby's trapped in, ma'am. Yeah. The driver of the car had two children with her and three other passengers who were illegal immigrants. The police interrogated the woman and asked if she had any other person in the trunk. The woman clearly said there was no one in the trunk after being asked repeatedly. Is there anybody else in the vehicle with you, ma'am? No. No? Is there anybody else in the trunk or anything like that? No, that I don't know. No what? No. The police later opened the trunk. And to their surprise, you got it? Yeah. Yeah. there was an additional illegal immigrant in the back of the car. The police ended up arresting the driver and sent the immigrants to the border patrol. The police were alerted about a suspect who was trespassing at a business place after being severely warned. Don't touch me! Get out. Then get out. Get out. The officers arrived and forcefully took the suspect out of the building. For what? What crime did I commit? You mother! Get up! F you! Get up! Get up! I'm looking for my glasses. Get the police swiftly responded to the situation. For what? What crime did I commit? I'm gonna arrest you for trespass after warning. Nobody gave me a warning. Consequently, the suspect was arrested despite the difficulties he posed. After this. The police took him to their van and tried to talk to him, but the suspect refused to cooperate. Even after getting to the station, the suspect was still adamant. He refused to provide his identification. We're gonna walk over to this door over here with the window. However, the police were able to identify him later and linked him with multiple warrants around the country. A police officer stopped this car because it had no plate number. In the window. Oh, <laughs> it's all the way down. That's why you put me over. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I didn't see the plate. I'm so sorry. Whose plate? Mine. The police spoke to the male suspect driving the car, who asserted he had just bought the car from a dealership. Put it up there. Do me a favor, just pull up a little bit. Love that. You just bought it from a dealership? Yeah. Oh, okay. The police tried to run the plate number and discovered it was the dealer's plate number. The police asked why and the suspect said the delay had granted him a 45-day leverage to use the number. When the police ran the suspect's ID, they found multiple warrants associated with him. Subsequently, they contacted the dealer to verify the authenticity of the situation. It was during this conversation that they learned the car had been stolen from the dealer's shop. When the suspect noticed his story was found out, he got desperate. Oh. <laughs> He tried to run. The police caught him and struggled to cuff him. He was taken in for stealing the car. On July 10th, 2023 in Kenosha, Wisconsin, 
Officers responded to a reported assault after surveillance footage captured Brittany attacking another woman. Motivated by a personal vendetta related to her ex-boyfriend, Brittany was seen dropping suspicious items, including a plastic baggie with white powder, before leaving. The police went to her house. Hi, you Brittany? Yeah, I'm a party officer. Hi, you want to step by here for a second? So we no, talk? I can talk to you. Okay. So what happened earlier? Hello. Police got to the suspect and tried repeatedly to get her to cooperate. White female, white shirt, black yoga pants. Use you, speak louder. Not talking to you. Well, then quit talking. Open the door. The suspect resisted arrest for so long until the officers eventually detained her. Even then, continued to act uncooperatively and verbally confrontational. She was charged with possession of cocaine, resisting arrest, and disorderly conduct. I ain't got time for this! Book me and let's go, you dumb asses! Let's go! Bring me to the cop shop! I want to get booked! I got time for this! A police officer was investigating a hit-and-run case. He got in contact with the family involved and was trying to find out about the case. The man involved was twisting the narratives and not telling the truth completely. However, when he discovered there were no cameras in the place, he turned the whole story on its head. When the officer attempted to speak with the entire family, the wife became extremely rude and even insulted the officer. The officer's response, however, was quite unexpected. He handled the issue calmly taking the blame where he could, and then walked off. The whole case could have been chaotic, but the officer made it all different. The police were informed about a suspect who had been causing a nuisance in traffic. Yes, you did. I was not a good trip. Okay. Stop. 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 I wasn't a good trip. Stop. Stop. The police got to her and tried to take her in quietly, but the suspect refused. When they tried to put her into cuffs, she did something unexpected. Breaking people's cars. Stop. Stop. Don't kick. Stop. Sarah, knock it off. She got combative and kicked one of the officers. This led to a brawl in which the police were able to detain her. Even after getting her into the van, the suspect continued screaming and being a nuisance. Stop now. Stand up. Liam! Stand Take up. Take him off! Now! Stand up. For what? Stand up. She was taken straight to the station and booked for resisting arrest jumping bail and kicking a police officer. Even while at the station, she kept resisting and screaming, but it was too late as she was already in the station. The police were informed about a Texas Thanksgiving Day murderer who was wanted for the murder crime and many other crimes. The suspect was identified using plate number technology. A policeman drove down to the suspect's location and tried to catch the suspect. However, the suspect sped off, smashing the officer's car in the process. The suspect got out of the damaged car and ran away on foot. In no time, the whole area was crawling with law enforcement agents as different police trucks drove past the area in different directions in a bid to catch the suspect. Eventually, the suspect was arrested and taken in for murder. A car was stolen by a suspect with a nine-year-old in the back seat. The police were able to use the Track My Phone app on the iPhone to get the kid's location. The radio, they're tracking the car to South Gordon and, hold on, stand by. Hello? Hello? Immediately it was gotten. The officer with the location sent it out to other officers and started moving towards the location of the car. Hey, are you in the that location? It's right there, I'm gonna go look. <laughs> the police arrived at the location and immediately swung into action to apprehend the suspect, who was surprised to see them. They put the suspect in handcuffs and led him away to one of their vans while the kid was reunited with his parents. In a rather shocking turn of events, a 13-year-old minor, who was supposed to be just an onlooker at a crime scene, gets herself into trouble. While the police are trying to get their business done, this minor, 
decides to get involved. At first, she does nothing but speak nonchalantly to the police. After some time, she got dissatisfied with that and decided to take her grievance a little further. She dashed at one of the cops and tried to engage her physically. The other cops present got a hold of her and placed her in cuffs before taking her away. The police had received some intel about this suspect trafficking cocaine around the city. The police stopped him and asked him to step down before searching him. Come on out for me. I don't like it. Listen, no, I you're not listening to No, direction. no, you have to tell me why I'm getting out of the vehicle. Though. I didn't even do anything. Hang on. Listen to me right Make now. Make sure y'all stay on the phone. Call my mama, bro. After searching him, they tried to search his car, but the suspect refused adamantly. The police decided to hold on to the car for investigation and release the suspect. For the improper transportation of and then you have to pay for it? If. So you're telling me that's all for the- Hours later, the suspect was spotted loading stuff into an Uber. Something strange occurred when the Uber was later stopped and searched. The suspect tried to run, but was quickly apprehended. After a thorough search, tons of drugs were found in the car trunk. A suspect was stopped for violating multiple traffic laws. The police questioned him and discovered he had no license. When they tried to take him into custody, the suspect called his brother to come to the scene. A few moments later, his brother was on the scene and was trying to intervene with the arrest. You saying that though? You saying that, bro? But that shit wouldn't have happened, bro. That shit was up, man. That shit wouldn't went down, man. Man, I don't got nothing, bro. At home, bro. This led to the brother's arrest along with the suspect. Both of them were detained by the police for the different crimes they had committed. The two brothers kept on giving the police a difficult time even after they were arrested. They even told a different story when interviewed. However, the video evidence was a clear indication of the brothers' unlawful behavior. This officer was informed about a suspect who was going psycho in a bank. You want to get your check today, right? I already got it though, bro. They will help you out in seconds. So tell they will help you out in seconds. The officer got there and tried to detain the suspect to no avail. The suspect remained adamant and refused to be cuffed time and time again. Well, you better calm down. Turn around if I put these cuffs on you. Turn around. cuff me, man. I'm going to take it. I don't give a damn. The officer threatened to taste the suspect, but the suspect kept on moving and resisting. Left with no choice, the officer released the taser, but something unexpected happened. The taser failed to work. The suspect must have gotten lucky, thanks to his thick clothing. The suspect took off immediately and ran off, leaving the officer with the taste of failure in his mouth. A man was trying to help at a crash scene, but it boomeranged. A suspect stole his truck, leaving him stranded. Shoots by me at over 100 miles an hour. Okay. All of a sudden, I see lights go shooting off sideways like this. Okay. I see this car, the guy standing out here going like this. The victim gave the full details to the police, who used the information to start a search for the culprit. They checked the crash car for every information they could get and were able to get some extra details. Armed with these, the officers started a search. They were eventually able to locate the victim's truck. Indeed, the suspect was not far away and was promptly arrested by the police. Thanks to the diligent work of the police, the rightful owner was able to retrieve his truck. This suspect had robbed a bank earlier that day. He was able to escape from the crime scene, but the long arm of the law still caught up with him. He was walking down the street away from the bank when a veteran police officer saw him acting suspiciously. The officer followed his gut feeling and took charge of the matter. The officer ordered him to the ground and waited until another officer cuffed him up. The suspect was searched and a gun and tons of cash were recovered from him. 
The police officers took him away in one of their vans to face the consequences of his actions. Uh, you can't... We almost bumped into each other, didn't we? <laughs> Seriously? Wow. Was it even a car? No. A police officer was alerted about an alligator at the front door of a residential apartment. The police were informed that a trapper would only kill the alligator. In a bid to save the reptile, the officer tried to trap it and take it away safely. Do me a favor, hold this. But the alligator seemed too smart to be trapped. Time and time again, the officer would attempt to trap the alligator, but the reptile would charge at him. After what seemed like an eternity, the officer made some headway. He was able to restrain the alligator. After carefully covering its eyes, the officer ties it up. He takes it to a canal and releases it back into the water. You don't have the tape on you? No. All right, somebody go. Somebody got. Hey, I, think I'm I, have, I have duct tape in my car. Okay, where's it at? Hey, it's in the trunk. A man who was wanted for beating up his girlfriend and locking her in a car trunk was being chased by the police. The suspect was wanted for multiple felonies, and the police were gladly chasing him to catch him once and for all. But the suspect was driving at speeds up to 120 km out R. The police chased him for a long time until he couldn't go further. His white car came to a standstill, surrounded by so many police trucks. The suspect was ordered out of his car and asked to lie on the ground before the cops took him into custody. 